hello. It is Stacy Cole and Carol Hughes. This is the team that comes together when Tony goes on vacation. <laughs> so obviously, Tony is on vacation. That lucky dog. Yeah, we both offered to fly there today. <laughs> we'll come. No worries. We'll come hang out with you guys. But no, we're here, which is fine. It is. It's totally fine. And you and I, we before we ever hit the record button, we spent. We've talked to her we now spent an hour. An hour. <laughs> <laughs> so when Tony gets back, it's like, yeah, we've been working our asses off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not tell him about that. <laughs> oh. But it's good to catch up with you, and we have a you lot of fun well. doing this. And and it's sometimes I cringe at the things we end up having to talk about because they're not pleasant at all. Well, and this first story is super cringy. But it's also one of those fascinating stories because it involves a famous person and you can't really look away from those stories. It's kind of like, I don't know, I think as a society, we're kind of fascinated by the rich and celebrities. And then when there's a big downfall, you can't help but not look and read about it. You know, it takes me not that I have ever watched a gladiator fight of any sort, but I imagine this is kind of that same concept of watching gladiators back in in old times where we like to see people get taken down. That's mm-hmm. kind of what we we're a weird species, you know? Mm-hmm. I think it's just, just you can't help it. And there's yeah. a fascination by it. I don't want to see it. I guess let me phrase it like this, too, because I don't want to see anybody. I don't care if it's a famous person or not collapse in a blaze of glory. But in this particular case, I think a lot of celebrities get a pass because they're celebrities and people want to be in their orbit and people excuse their behavior or they accept their behavior because they're famous. R. Kelly. This is like an R. Kelly story. Oh, I'm Tony thinks it's worse than R. Kelly. And we're talking about Sean P. Diddy, Puffy, whatever the heck he calls himself these days, Combs. That's who we're talking about. Yeah. So when, you know, I got nothing against him until you start reading these stories. And then it's Mm. like, no, 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 you don't get to treat people like that. No. And the more stories that come out, the more horrific it gets. Yeah. And you... You told me before we hit record that you have not seen the video that we're going to reference here, and I don't want you to look at it. If you haven't seen the video and that hits you in the pit of your stomach because maybe you've known somebody that's gone through something like this or you yourself, don't go look at it because it's extremely triggering and it's horrible to watch because it, it... For me, it triggered me. I had a very abusive father. Uh, He never touched me, but I watched him just beat the shit out of my brothers. And it just was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it, I really struggled with seeing this video of the hotel surveillance footage that was released a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I couldn't. It's horrific. I couldn't. And what bothers me and what I'd like to know, somebody got paid off somewhere to not release this video. The hotel had it. I'd, I'd like to dig a little more into that, but I think somebody got paid so that the video wasn't released. And I'm extremely offended by that because it goes back to, if you see something, say something. Mm-hmm. And it was recorded. God, this guy should have been taken down years ago. But I think that's the problem with the celebrities is that they do have the money to pay people off. Yeah. And, you know, like Michael Jackson, for example, who were the people in his inner circle that were enabling him? And that's the same problem Sean Combs has, is that there's a whole bunch of enablers around him. He doesn't want to hear anybody going against what he thinks. He just wants a bunch of yes people. That's what I that's why I think Michael Jackson died. He didn't want anybody to tell him the way it was. He wanted the people to do what he wanted them to do. And I think that's the same case here. He's got the money. There are people willing to be like, yeah, I'm best friends with Sean Combs and or whatever they're calling him at that point in his life. And rather than these people be grounded people, you know, they're like elevated. They're gods and they can do whatever they want. And it's sad. 
Yeah. And it's, it's not just the fact that, that they've been elevated to gods. It's the fact that we can see something horrific, but for enough money, we'll turn and look the other way. I mean, doesn't that say a lot about us as a species? Well, I think now, now I'm going to say this, say you and Sean P. Diddy, Puff, whatever, you guys were friends and you heard of this video, would you for money have looked the other way? See, I'm not that person and I don't think you are either. Um, Let me clarify. If he handed me $30 million, I'd go, yeah, fuck it. Thirty million. I, I am that. I'm that person. Thirty, <laughs> 30 million. Thirty million. I well, uh, I am cursed with this sense of like that's not right, and I've been that way since I was a little little kid, and I'm like absolutely not, and I I don't I thirty million dollars. I don't know what I would do for that kind of money. See, I, I guess thirty million is where I've drawn the line. That that gets me where <laughs> twenty five million. Need. No, but thirty million, yes, <laughs> right. I, but I, you know, honestly, if if there's people listening, going, "Oh my God, she's terrible," really put yourself in that position. Would would there be a certain amount of money that could fix everything in your life, take care of all your bills, work through your retirement, take care of family members? get you exactly what you need. Could you sleep at night doing that? And I, I don't know. I, I, when I buy a lottery ticket, I look and go 200 million. That fixes everything. I don't know. With 30 million. I don't know. Uh, could I let somebody suffer at the hands of this asshole for $30 million? <laughs> Probably not. It sounds fun to say it, but I don't think I could. I don't know. And I, I mean, really, you and I are never going to be in that situation where we have to decide. But, uh, well, try so me. That's good. <laughs> Somebody try me. But I just, I find it, you know, there's just so many people who knew what he was doing and they all looked the other way. Yeah. And they all enabled his horrible behaviors by probably sucking up to him and being yes men and women. Yeah. While he is abusing people and trafficking people and treating them like objects and not like they're carrying good people. Yeah. And it's, you know, we've all worked for really bad employers. Um, I, and I, I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, but we've all had some really shitty jobs, especially working in radio. <laughs> um, I've seen things and I, Part of the reason I'm no longer in radio is because I saw some things and kind of raised my hand and went, this is not acceptable. And I got handed a an NDA and pretty much shown the door. And But it's because I, I spoke up and said, no, this is not okay. You can't do this. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do have that that bone in me where I'm, I'm not going to allow people to be degraded and, and brought down, but I've also seen where it sometimes it just doesn't pay to be that person. It doesn't pay to to be the whistleblower and to speak up because in the long run, a lot of whistleblowers get punished. And it, but that's that's a horrible thing to say out loud, but it's reality in a lot of cases. Absolutely. It's, Happened it's to me. Sad. It's really sad. Um, so basically what the, the story is that we're talking about, um, Sean Diddy Combs has been in the news because Jake Porter, who is the father of the late Kim Porter, has now publicly condemned uh, Combs after that footage surfaced showing the music mogul attacking Cassandra Cassie Ventura. Um, he basically is talking about how he's disgusted with the video And he said, I wouldn't treat my enemy like that. Jake Porter is 78. He was telling this to Rolling Stone last week. He said it was despicable. I couldn't believe it. I was in Vietnam and I wouldn't do that to my enemy. Now, in this video, Combs is seen grabbing, shoving, and kicking Cassie. He ends up throwing a vase at her at one point. I mean, it's just awful. And And this was all from the hallway of a hotel, like the the CCTV cameras? Yeah. This, this, what, who knows what happened in the room? Yeah. Cause I, like, from my understanding, this she, was in the hallway. She, she escaped the room. Like, she's trying to leave. He goes after her, correct? Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Basically. And, and that's what we're seeing is that, that security footage from the hallway. 
And it's just. But where's you know, that been he, all these years? You know, exactly. It happened in 2016. Mm-hmm. And that's it's what so I'm talking sad. about. Somebody sat on this. I mean, thank God it wasn't erased. That's that's the other thing. Somebody kept it. Yeah, they had that's copies. What's shocking. There was copies made. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and now we also hear that Howard University has rescinded his honorary degree that they gave to him in 2014. In a statement on its website, the university announced its board of trustees voted unanimously to accept the return of Mr. Sean Combs' honorary degree conferred upon him in 2014. Uh, it revokes all honors and privileges associated with the, deg- the degree. Mr. Combs' behavior as captured in a recently released video is so fundamentally incompatible with Howard University's core values and beliefs that he is deemed no longer worthy to hold the institution's highest honor. The university is unwavering in its opposition to all acts of interpersonal violence. Well, at least that was a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they did that. I am too. I mean, what was he doing with the degree other than it sat on his wall and witnessed everything he did? And it was an honorary degree. You get those because you're a good person. Yeah. You know, they don't give them to people who do this. No. But then Sean Combs is like, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't remember what his response was to it, but it was so lackluster. It was just like... You know, I'm I'm feeling bad about it. And, you know, my emotions got the best of me sort of thing. It's like, what? I'm disgusted by my own behavior. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as we, we're all shocked by it. Like you, that was just one example. He got caught. Yes. There's That's why he's be sorry. a million other times. And for her poor father, and she's since passed away, right? Yeah. She died in 2018 of pneumonia. And they shared three children together. So there are kids, you know, that I don't, I don't know how much they've seen. Did they see him abuse their mom? I, we don't know. Yeah, we don't right. know. So this is this story is just the tip of the iceberg. We are going to see. I would assume at some point we're going to see him perp walked. He's going to be in cuffs. I think so too. You're consuming the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.